Hello and welcome back to the Hutchinson Art Center's Virtual Art Camp. My name is Kara Bond and I am so glad that you're here today. Today's art camp lesson is going to be how to draw the eyes, nose, and mouth. These three features are some of my favorite to draw just because I really enjoy drawing portraits. I love drawing the face. It's probably one of my number one go-to's whenever I start sketching. If I have a piece of paper in front of me, I immediately start drawing the face. And so I have some really easy tips and tricks on how to draw these without it being so complicated. They are very complicated features, but if we break it down to the main structure of the shapes and how we can achieve a better form of them, then you'll have no problem drawing these face features. So our first feature right here is the eye. Now if I zoom in, I'm going to draw how I see the eye. So immediately, I see a line that goes up, across, and back down. And then down here, I see one that goes down and back up. And then I see a triangle shape here. Of course, I see the inside of the eye and the pupil and then an eyelid with those simple shapes. Now if I come over here to my sketch pad and I try to sketch that out, I'm just gonna look at those shapes that I saw. So I saw a line that goes up, across, down, down again, and then back up. And then there's like a little triangle piece here. And then inside was the circle, and then the pupil. That's a wonky pupil. That's better. And so from there, I can start editing and changing the shape of the eye just so it looks more natural. Start rounding out some of those edges. And voila. And then I just need to add an eyelid. And that is the basic eye shape. And then you can add your tear duct right there. Also, sometimes this line, I'm actually going to erase this end part of it and bring it in so it looks like it's going under here. Because sometimes that looks like a little shadow area too. Now for the nose. The nose is kind of similar, it's just a little bit trickier. If we look at the general shape of the nose, there's a circle part there, a circle part here, and a circle part here, okay? And then you have inside are the nostrils, but from there you can add the form that you need to draw the nose. So those are some simple lines to start out with. Let's go over to the sketch zone. I start off with a circle and then I have two smaller circles on the sides. And then from there, I can do two curved pieces, add a nostril, second nostril, bring in the outside, which is just another curve. And then I can go in and erase the lines that I don't want. So I don't want that line. I don't really want that line. In fact, I don't want any of these lines. Usually I erase all my circles and I just start shading it. Because shading for the nose is probably the biggest piece to make it look realistic. And there you have a nose, a really simple nose. Because if you look here at this nose, there's light on top, but then there's this big old shadow underneath. And so the shadow part is right here. So I always shade this part pretty heavily. And then there's a little bit of shadow right in here. Now the lips, I see two circles right here and then a circle right here. 
And from there, I see a line that maybe goes up, over, and down. Then obviously you have your outside line. That really gives the form of the lips. So if I come over here to my sketch zone, I have two circles on top, one circle underneath. I should be touching. That's kind of smaller. And then I sketch down and then up kind of for like a little smile or just like this area right here. It kind of does curve up in general. And I can go up, use these circles to help guide that top lip and bring it back down. Then here, that circle just kind of helps me keep a good distance away from that top line above this circle. And then I can go in and erase what I do not need. And that is how you draw a simple eye, nose, and mouth. So if you just pay attention to the very basic structure of very complex forms, such as the eyes, nose, mouth, even the ear, this technique will really, really help you. The technique of looking at where just simple lines are, how you can use that to help guide your, to help guide your drawing. And then when you're done with your simple shapes, in order to make it look more realistic, you can come in and shade. Remember we said the nose had that area of shadow. So it comes down like that. There's some shading over here. And sometimes there's like a shadow right here that makes the nose look like it's turned up. So you have something like that. <laughs> On the mouth, the top lip is always, always darker than the bottom lip because it does cast a shadow. And then your bottom lip. And then our eye. Um, with the eye, I always fill in the pupil first. And then the way that the pup or the eye is shaded is that it's really dark up here, and then it gets lighter at the bottom. Your eye does have a shadow as well. And then I'm just going to tweak it to where it looks pretty good. And then the eye is shaded as well. And then for the eyelid, on these diagonal parts, I like to shade them pretty dark and then have this part be pretty light. So then it looks like they are coming up and leaving that part looking at the light more so than the other side. Then of course you can go in, add some light details. So you have some reflection coming off of the eye. And so now what I'm going to do, now that I've illustrated how this would look, I'm going to go ahead and show you on a piece of paper, I'm going to do a time lapse of a face using the same technique.
Thank you so much for participating in this week's art camp. I had a lot of fun. We made a lot of really cool drawings and I will see you during summer art camp. Goodbye.